his people were Caucasians. Moses? No. No. His people. The Pharaoh. No, Pharaoh was Egyptian. Pharaoh was a, a Hamite. He was a black person. That's why when you go to Egypt and you look on the pyramids and the hieroglyphics, it's black people. And you see the people in chains, they're black people. History and archaeology aligns with what this Bible presents. It says the Israelites will go into slavery. And we can look in ar any archaeological, you can get on Google and go to any Ge National Geographic pictures of the pyramids. You're going to see black people. Those, are the, those were Pharaoh's people. Moses went to the mountains to teach the Caucasians when, civilization. He never, when did he do, when did, what do you mean he went to the mountains and to teach the Caucasians? When he never God did that. His, when God gave him his assignment, when, when he came when, down with the Ten Commandments. But wait a minute, okay, okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Who did he, who was the commandments, who was the law given to? You got your Bible? Go to Deuteronomy 4 and 44. Okay, go to Deuteronomy 4 and 44. Deuteronomy 4, 44? Yes, yes, please. Now, this is the new law which Moses set before the children of Israel. Before, I thought, but I thought you said it was the Caucasian. No, when he went to the mountains. But no, no, this is this is what this is talking about. This is the law. Let's go back. I'm saying, I'm saying Moses was sent to the mountains, was he not? For who? To teach the Caucasians but, civilization. But we just read it's to he went to get the laws for Israel. So am he I gonna believe you or what the Bible the says? Let's go to where Moses was sent. But what but this is hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, calm down. This is, we're reading, let's read it again. Verse 44. And this yes, is the law. The law is the what? The Torah, correct? He gave the Ten Commandments. No, no, the, no, the law is the Torah, correct? Yeah, the Torah. Okay, he says the law which Moses, who you said, set before the children of Israel. It doesn't say everybody. We're not talking about what Moses came down off the mountains with. So well, I want to go back and show you. Can I show you that? Well, well, it, well, what you're saying doesn't make sense because you're saying he, he went to Mount Sinai to get the laws from God. There was no one up there but him. Okay. So that's why I'm confused on why you said that. Because when he went to Mount Sinai, he was by himself. That's why when he came back down, uh, his brother had made the golden calf, correct? And they were all worshiping that. Mm -hmm. So he was up there by himself. He wasn't up there teaching anyone. He was getting the laws because when he started, that's why they only have the Ten Commandments. Because when he came, they were scared. So they sent Moses up to Mount Sinai to get the laws and write them down on his tablet. And then he gave the laws to Israel. So what you're saying isn't biblical or found in the Bible. May I ask who I'm talking to? Isaiah's mom. How are you doing? I, 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 it's nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. How can I I'm always? Ready, I'm getting ready to find where I'm speaking from so you can get where I'm getting. Yes, ma'am. Interpretation. Yes, ma'am. But let me, right. let me, yes, ma'am, while you're finding that, I'm going to read you something, okay? Go ahead and no, look All for right. it. I want you to find it. I want you to look for it. Yes, yeah, so I'm listening to as you're speaking. Okay. This is Second Peter. Let's see. Or, let me see. Second Peter. Four. Well, I'm, I'm gonna give you two. But yeah, are you are you at First Peter four and eleven? Alright, I'll read it for you. Oh, hold on. Just jump pages, hold on. Okay, first Peter. Let's 
4.11. It says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do as the ability God given. But the point of why I'm going here is saying, if you're going to speak, it has to come out of this Bible. It can't be our words. It can't be my interpretation. It can't be your interpretation. It has to literally be what the scriptures say. And let me, let me, hold on, let me read this last one. Hold on. Uh, this is 2 Peter 1 and 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. So we can't have our own interpretations when it comes to the scriptures. We have to do and, and go by what the scriptures say. So if you want to go ahead and show me where you said that Moses went to on the mountain to talk to everyone, you're going to have to now go into the Torah. Okay, I'm sorry. What would you say he did? He went on the mountains to talk to everyone. I say he went into up to the mountains. There were uh, Caucasians in the mountains that had no civilization. And you're going to go to the Bible and show me that? Of course. Okay, go ahead. I'm waiting. Take your time. Okay. Then um, just, I have this new one. I have to go to the highlight. It's fine. You, you, you're okay. You're okay. It didn't do the wrong. I'm sorry. You cut out, princess. What'd you say? I said I am in Deuteronomy. Okay. But in this Bible, I'm not highlighted. In my original Bible, I'm highlighted. Yes, man. It's okay. You take your time. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. You okay. I'm just muting it so I can keep everyone in contact. She's looking for a verse. She said that God, Moses, first she said Moses went and taught everyone, the Caucasians as well, when he only went to the mountain to speak with God to get the commandments. And then when he came down, I showed her Deuteronomy 4 and 44, that God only gave the commandments to Israel. So now she's trying to go to some spot in the Bible that shows where everyone was involved. Okay, let's listen to what she got to say. Hold on.
If you're looking for when the the it starts, is it? I don't know if I'm, I'm trying to help. Exodus twenty. Exodus twenty is when it, when it starts when he starts get, when he starts getting the commandments. And you're gonna you're gonna have run into a whole lot of issues trying to make it universal. Because the Bible is never taught to be universal. The Bible is Latin for Bibulos. It just means record and compile of books. It's not a religion. The word religion etymology just means to bind and hold back. I want to see. She, I got to pause her. She can't hear me. Okay, yeah. She's confounded. She's been looking She's for this verse for about five, five solid minutes. But y'all just keep it. Just keep in check. This is my homeboy. I gave him a flyer up school and like we was going over at first until his mom hopped on the phone and then like it went from there. That's why. Yeah, we, we, that's why we're here. That's right why now. we're here right we're now. Here right now. Because so she's looking for a verse. Because she she, 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 she thinks was, Moses was talking to everybody. Everyone. Everybody. Okay, hold on. See, I told her where to go. She's going to get cut because it's talking about Israel throughout the whole thing. Because this book is not universal. This book is not universal. Hold on. And I will give you table of stone and the law and the commandments which I have written that you teach them. Mm hmm. Okay. So Moses arose with his assistant Joshua, and Moses went up to the mountains of God. Okay. All right. The children of Israel. And I also asked, like, when when Moses said, let my people go, who was he talking about? Right. So now we're not, we're not, now where are you getting that it's universal, beloved? This might be the longest confounding I've ever had <laughs> ever in the history of battling. Two like she has been confounded. Right, this this has been going on for eight minutes. It's universal because it's huh. universal. There's more, you know. There's more books than just the Bible. There's more books than just the Bible. What right. do you mean by that? Not just more books. Not 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 just more not more books. Meaning this that here it is. There's a lot of things that have been taken out that has a full knowledge of more than what they let us be seen or heard or read of in the Bible. Well, I would have to disagree with you because I can go into the ancient Hebrew scrolls, into the Codex Sinaiticus, into the Lydon Vulgate, and I can go see it in the Hebrew and the Greek, and I can look at it in the scrolls, and I can look at it through the Masoretic text and the Dead Sea scrolls. I can go to the ancient language, and I can see that it's still there. And it's the same. It's just translated to English into this Bible. Yeah. So there's nothing missing. I can actually go into the original language and read it. So I'd have to disagree with you. Right, right. Because if I started speaking to you in Hebrew, you wouldn't understand it. So that's why we have the English translation today. Like if I say call halal Yahweh by Shimon Mashiach while Malak Yahweh Shah, you're not gonna understand, but I literally just said all praises to the most high God who you call Jesus Christ. But you wouldn't understand me in that tongue. But as but to but to to land me back on what the point you just made, I would I would have to disagree because I can go into the old the old languages and see that it says the same thing here. And I also have a sixteen eleven Bible which has the missing books. Because if you only believe in the Bible, I'm sure the Bible you have is a Protestant Bible. And it probably has 66 books. See, we have the whole Bible over here. Yeah, I have the King James. And, um, no, you're saying, so you can explain the 40 days and 40 nights that he stayed up in the mountains? 
Yeah, but that's not the point. The point of contention is you're trying you're trying to say that Moses was doing his work universally, and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to we're gonna have to finish that point out before we move off to anything else. Because your point is that Moses came to anyone, and then I went to Deuteronomy four and forty four and showed you that the word was only given to Israel, and it wasn't universal. So if we can, if you want to concede and agree that Moses was only sent for the Israelites. Then yeah, I can definitely answer any other question you have, but we can't move from that point. That Moses was sent only for the Israelites? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, he was he was in command to be for the Israelites. Yes, I didn't agree, disagree with that. I said, but during his his time away, the forty days and forty nights, that Moses stayed up in the mountains. That's the part that I was going at that comes in where it can be proven that there was Caucasians that he was up there in the mountains teaching. Okay, all right, so you're talking about in Numbers 21, the mixed multitude? Is that what you were looking for? Numbers 21? Yeah, is that what you're looking for? Hold on, let me make sure. You're looking for that, and that's, that's still going to, hold on. That still leaves you in a trick bag because the mixed multitude fell. They died out in the wilderness. The actually God brought them out there to get uh to punish them in front of us. So hold on. Let's I'll show you. Hold on, what did, I said numbers twenty one. I'm sorry, I meant numbers eleven. So go to Numbers 11. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I can't run off the top of my head. Uh, go to Numbers 11, and I'm going to read verse 4. Because you're now, let's, so let's, let's make sure. Oh. Now let's make sure that, um, that I understand your point and I'm articulating what you're saying correctly. Um, you're saying now that when after Pharaoh... After he said, let my people go, after he brought the commandments down, now they're in the wilderness. You're saying now that he was teaching everyone? Is that now what you're saying? Moses wasn't allowed to go to the promised land, remember? Right, but I'm trying to make sure I'm understanding your point. You're saying when he was out in the 40 days and the 40... Why he was denied the promised land, the disobedience that Moses did. Well, it, it okay, but I'm uh, we like I said, I don't care to talk about those other things, but I'm trying to make sure I'm understanding your point. Now you're you're saying is that the mixed multitude that was with Moses, he taught them as well, even though we just read that the law was only given to the Israelites. The law was given to the Israelites, yes. So why now that we understand that? Okay, I'm trying to explain to you. Okay, this is what I'm trying to explain to you. Because here it is, uh, just going up on that concept of what people always say when it comes to the colors. Okay. Uh, when I say the, uh, the, the envy and the, the behavior and the, the attitudes that make the Caucasian people have, right? Not all people. I don't look at people according to colors. I look at the spirit. You understand? That's right, but we're but right okay, here. but see now 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 we're straying away from the Bible. See now we're getting into the what Bible how you Bible. feel. We're getting into how what you think. And we just read it. We can't give our own private interpretation. Jesus teaches, Jesus teaches in the new in the new in the new testimony how to be how to walk and how to act, even towards our enemies. Jesus also said in the New Testament he's only sent for Israel. Did you know that? Jesus was sent for the Jews. Yeah, yeah, that which is is it, that's Israel. Israelites was Jewish. No, Israelites are Jews. We are the real the Jews. Israel. You're a Jew. You're a Jew. Did you know that? Yes, I know. The Gentiles, the Jews, the Jews are yes. Black people are considered the Jews. We are the Israelites. Oh, like all right them. then. So now, if you understand that, princess, why are you now trying to make this book universal when it's our book? Because when you go into the New Testament, 
the teaching of the New Testament is not to say that we are to act that way anymore. Wait a minute. Okay, well, okay. Let's go to Matthew fifteen and twenty-four. Right. Yeah, she. Well, she said the New Testament. She's talking about Deuteronomy twenty. What she just said was a, a, a boring and Edomite. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. So let's go to Matthew fifteen and twenty four. Let's see how the most let's see how God acted towards these other nations. Let's see how your your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ acted towards these nations. So are you at Matthew fifteen? We're gonna go we're gonna start at uh we're gonna start at twenty two. Let me know when you're there. And behold a woman a Hold on, no, I got you. I'm gonna I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read it. I'm I got you, I got you, I'm gonna read it. Just pay, just follow along with me, mm -hmm. Princess. It says, and behold, a woman of Canaan. This is a non-Israelite, right? This is a non-Israelite, a Canaanite, correct? Yeah. Okay. Came out the same coast and cried unto him, saying, have mercy on me. And so what do they say in the church? It says, come one, come all, right? Anybody that cries out to the Lord can be saved, right? That's what they say. So let's read this This woman who's a non-Israelite. She's crying out to God. Let's, let's, let's see what Jesus Christ says to her. It says, have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he, verse 23, but he answered her not a word. Why did Jesus Christ ignore this non-Israelite? I thought everyone could come to Jesus Christ. So why is Jesus Christ out in the open ignoring a non-Israelite? Because 24 tells you. What, 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 no, I'm, well, I'm asking you, why is he, but according to the Christian church, everyone can come to Jesus Christ. Everyone can come to God. Why is he ignoring someone? Because he was sent for the Lord's sheep of Israel. Right. That's oh, perfect. So he's not for everyone. <laughs> he isn't everyone's savior. <laughs> That's my point of going here. Now I'm going to finish this out. I feel like you got a good grasp on this. Um... It says, uh, and, and it gets even deeper. It says, but he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him saying, send her away. Even the 12 disciples came and said, get the hell away from us. Even the 12 disciples that walked with Jesus Christ said, get this non-Israelite away from us. So not only was Jesus Christ saying it, the 12 apostles that were following Jesus Christ were, were just like him as well. So are they wrong? So are they wrong for shooing off other nations? Can you go to 28 for me, though? No, I, I, you, we can't. We got to deal with each point. I will. I will go there. But you got, I, I'm asking you a question. Are they right for disrespecting that non-Israelite like that? Were they right? No. So Jesus Christ was wrong then. You're saying he did something wrong. No, Jesus can't. You got to go all the way. You just can't stop where he goes <laughs> at and says, yes. He was upset. You see where he said his comment as he said unto her, you know, it is not good to take the ch children's bread and throw it to the little dog. So wait a minute. Oh, so he called her a bit. He called her a dog. So Jesus no, Christ called her a dog, which is a bitch, which is a bitch in the Hebrew. Good. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. Let me read, I'm glad you throw went there. Let me, read this. Let me read that. I'm glad she went there. He did not say she's a dog. No, he wait a minute. Oh, let's hold on. Let's, let's read it. And uh, even, but the disciples and Jesus Christ are ignoring this lady. You can't get around that. But he, but this is verse twenty four. But he answered to this lady who's a non Israelite and said, "I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel." Now, wouldn't this been a pivotal moment to say, "Hey, I'm sent for everyone. Just believe on me. I'll make sure you get salvation." Why is Jesus Christ telling this non Israelite that he's only sent for Israel? Can we read on? Read, but, I but want not, you to wait, read we on. Will, but I need you to answer that. Why is Jesus Christ only saying he sent for Israel? Why is he not saying he sent for everyone like the Christian church says? We can't run from this point. Why is Jesus Christ saying I'm only sent for Israel? Because when you go back to his purpose of what he came for. But wait a minute. We read in the Old Testament that the law was only given to Israel. Now we're reading in the New Testament that God's only sent for the Israelites. It's all running together. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. 
But I need you to rectify why Jesus Christ and the apostles try to shoo this non-Israelite away. And why Jesus Christ said, I am not sent, but... Only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You cannot get around that. That's right. That's right. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. It don't so can say, you it read don't say on. anyone else. Can you read on? Because oh, you got to understand where mercy. What Jesus does mercy mean? What does I'll forgiveness mean? I'm sorry. What did you say? I said we got to read on so you can understand his mercy and forgiveness. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What mercy? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So, when Jesus Christ said he's only sent for the Israelites, was he lying? That's what he told her. No. He okay, then. So, Jesus Christ never lied. He, so, he's not lying when he says he's only sent okay. for the Israelites. So, then, so then uh, this is what I'm trying to say, my brother. Yes, ma'am. Then he said, then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Yes, yeah, that was before. Door, and that was right? before, and he ignored her. Yeah. This is after you, no, no. you just read. Let me read it again. Verse 22. It says, and Behold, a woman of Canaan came out saying, cried out unto him, saying, Have mercy on me. She's crying out. And then verse 23 says, But he answered her not a word. So she okay. was already listen crying out, I'm, and he ignored her. This is what I'm saying. He turned around. Listen to what I'm saying to you. I want you not to stop there and pluck. I want you to go from, if you can, all respect, can you go from that 24 and go to tw go down to 28? Yes, ma'am. I want you to read Yes, ma'am. I'm going to read it, and we're going to break it down together, okay? Because it still doesn't help you. Okay. Okay, it still doesn't help you. Verse 25. Then she came, she and worshipped him again, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not me, meaning it's not good to give the children's bread. What's the children's bread? Okay, the children's bread is this word, the Bible, the law, statutes, and commandments. I know. Okay, I'm so he's saying it's not on. right for me to give you this. On. Okay. I understand what okay, perfect. And li it. but listen, beloved, he says, and to cast it to the dogs. He he called her nation of people and her dogs how is that that is not what the christian church on sunday morning teaches Listen, i understand i just want you to continue reading yes ma'am okay and she said truth meaning she said of course i'm a dog lord so she knew her position she knew her place she knew she was lower than the israelites she said truth meaning you're right i am a dog so let's keep reading so she knew her place she said, uh, uh, truth, Lord, yet the dog, she called herself a dog, eat the crumbs, the crumbs. Give me a piece of bread. Go give me a piece of bread. I'm going to show you something. I want I want I want you to answer this. I want to know if this is fair. It says, and eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. But this is, beloved, but this is the problem. We like to isogee and stuff our entire understanding instead of reading the whole context. That's why I'm reading the whole thing it's to you. Not, it's, it's, that's what it is. When you get to the chapters and you start reading, you just can't go and pluck by pluck. You read from beginning all the way. Well, that's saying, what I'm doing. Okay, but look, let me show you something, beloved. In the faith game in that. Beloved, you see this piece of bread, right? Okay, you see it. I'm going to take a piece off. Now, if I give this piece to, if I take this whole piece and I give it to myself and I give you this, is that fair? Look at that look. Look at her look. Look at her face. Look at her face. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm asking you, beloved. I want you to get to the you Well, beloved, I'm asking you a question. Because you're trying to, you're, I'm asking you, is it fair? He says this to her. Then Jesus answered, this is 28. Then Jesus answered and said to her, Oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be you as you desire. Uh-huh. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Okay, so what's your point? He gave her a crumb. Mercy. Yeah, he no, he gave her a crumb. There's nothing wrong. He gave her a crumb. No, that's not saying he gave. Wait, her a crumb. so hold up. So wait a minute. So is a is getting a listen. Listen to me. Came to him. No, hold up. Is getting a blessing? Came to him because her daughter was possessed and she wanted Jesus to heal her daughter. Yeah, because she and first he was not. She was not an Israelite. Yeah, but what did she have to she do first? I came for the Lord Chief of 
But what did she have to do first to get that blessing? She had to realize she had to call herself a dog. She had to bow down. She had to admit that she was lower than him. You keep omitting that part. Like, yeah, he gave her a blessing. A blessing isn't salvation. What I want you to understand is as sinners, is as sinners, we have to bow down. Wait, no, no, it does, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where in the Bible does it say that? Where in the Bible does it say what? What you just said. Confess our sins? No, you said what well, you said a whole lot. But I, okay, but I, my point I was said as sinners. What is sin? What is sin according to the Bible? Do you know? Let's go to no, 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 no. I asked you, what is sin according to the Bible? The Bible tells you what it is. In no, in John. God gives us the sins. No, John, no, I'm asking you, according to the Bible, what is sin? According to the Bible, it's evildoers. Is that what the Bible says it's it is? Evilness. Is that what the Bible says it's it is? It's the flesh. It's the flesh. Is that what the Bible? No, it's not, beloved. Go to First John three and four. This is what sin is, according to the Bible. We can't speak our own words, beloved. This is First John three and four. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. So what is what is the law? It's now hold up, wait a minute. What? What's up? What? Yeah, I, Everything yes. the Ten Commandments no, stated. Baby, baby girl, so who was the law given to? Baby, baby girl, baby, I'm sick. Okay, I have to come away from this because I'm sitting here telling you we on the same as receivings. When you talk about the sin, it's the Ten Commandments. No, you no, wait a minute, hold no, up. It's not the Ten Commandments. So wait a minute, is uh is um do not be a homosexual in the Ten, ten hey, Commandments. It's do not eat pork in the Ten Commandments. So there's more than One. 10, right? So there's more than 10, right? The 10 commandments. I'm asking you, do not eat pork in the 10 commandments. The swine is talking separate. Yes, it is. It's not, it's not the commandments. But hold on. Wait a minute. It. Okay. Okay. The swine is not the 10 commandments. Exactly. So there's more than 10 laws, right? That's my point. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. There's more than 10 commandments. You just named 11. This is. There's 613. There's 613 laws, princess. Between man and woman. Where is that in the Bible? Well, I, well, I just showed you 11. You you can read the 10. Not eating pork and being a homosexual. That's 12. That's Leviticus 20 and 13. That's not in the Ten Commandments. The laws are the first five books. The laws are the whole Torah, the first five books of the Bible. Wearing zizis and fringes in Numbers 15 and 38. That's a commandment. That's not in the 10. That's 13 right there. Girl, it's easy, These are easy stuff right here. They, I'm the, I'll let the boys show you. But yeah, we just named 13 laws. So is there more than 10? Look at the look on her face. She's cute. I love it. It is. Moses had more than 10 laws. Exactly. So there's more than 10. That's my point. And that's in the Bible that Moses had more than 10. Yeah. Yes, beloved, because I just showed you he only got the, they only heard the 10. That's why he had to go to Mount Sion and get the rest because they were scared. Of a deep. They were God scared of, they were scared of God when he came and told him to give the commandments. It tells you in Exodus 20. I was trying to show you that. But regardless, add the, we, if you name the 10 commandments, do not eat pork is not listed, but we know that's the law. Being a homo, you cannot be a homosexual. Leviticus 20 and 13. That's not in the Ten Commandments. So there's more than 10. Corinthians. Go to Corinthians 5. 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 Corinthians so and a, le a letter is not the law. So the law is in the Torah. You can't use the back of the book for the law. That's not. That's a letter. That's a letter written to Israelites. So don't go to Paul's writings because that's going to get you in deeper water. Paul, was, uh, those are all epistles written to Israelites. All of them.
tells you that in Romans 9. When he goes and meets Phineas and, and when he gets his uh when he goes blind for three days in Damascus and he goes to the uh the Greek in Greek provinces to preach and there's synagogues and the places in Thessalonica and all that stuff, all those letters are epistles. There are all those uh books are epistles written to Israelites. So I wouldn't go there. I would stay where you're at. But I got a question for you. So how many gates to the kingdom are there? Boy, you looking, boy. You studying, boy. I like it. Boy, you, I can see you. Yes, deal. I like it. I'm trying to find out where it says there's more than 10 commandments. Well, beloved, go to Leviticus 20 and 13. Go to Leviticus 20 and 13 and read it. Twenty and thirteen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Read it. Uh. Did you read it? I, I you cut out if you did. I didn't hear you. This one don't have Leviticus. They don't have Leviticus? Okay, uh, I can read it for you. Give me my King James. I can read it for you if you need me to. I want you to read along, though. That makes it better. King James right there. Let me get my highlight. Give me my highlight. It's okay. You take your time. Take your time. And then my highlight got it all. Okay, now. Okay. Leviticus 20 and 13. Okay. And I want you to I, and I want you to tell me, is that a commandment? Is that a commandment from God? Is that a law that we have to follow? Is that an audience? Right. Yeah, Leviticus 20 and verse 13. Okay. It's in the beginning of the book. It's the beginning of the Bible. Know, it's supposed to be Leviticus. Yes, ma'am. It's right after Exodus. Okay. It's the third book in the Bible. Okay. She's been getting smashed. I don't know who, bless her heart, she's a good hearted lady, but she's been getting thrashed. This is my story. The homeboy's mom. Yeah, Your Christian. Read that and tell me if that's not a law or a commandment from God. Man also lied with mankind as he lies with a woman. Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Is that a commandment that we have to keep? On them. Yes. So is that in 10? Is that in the Ten Commandments? Thou shalt not commit fornication. No, no, it says that's talking about uh, uh in the what's the commandments? In the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not uh, thou shalt not commit fornication. 
So does it does it say what that says in Leviticus 20 and 13? That if a man and a woman My point is, is that law, is that written in the Ten Commandments? Yes. Where in? Where does it say anything about uh, homosexuality in the Ten Commandments? Uh, I have uh, like 500 other laws too that you have to deal with too, so. That's not the law. Uh, I just like sexuality, homosexuality. That's not the law. That's not the Ten Commandments. That's Paul. You, I said the Ten Commandments in the Torah. Let's go to the Ten Commandments. Let's go to it. Let's go to the Ten Commandments. Go ahead. One second, get to it. Exodus. Exodus 20. Exodus. Exodus 20. I just said I'm going to it. I'm going to okay. it out myself. Exodus 20. I get to it. Okay. Okay. Go Exodus 20. Mm-hmm. Down to I am the law. Thy God, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Thou shalt not have no other God before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any grave image of so. Let's go down to the fornication. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in vain. Go back to verse 6. Take not. Yeah, I don't know where you're seeing that at in there. Yeah, it's not in there, but it's not in there, beloved. So that would be eleven laws, right? Here we go. Okay. Now, this is the thing. When you get back to me, right? Yes, ma'am. That's in the Old Testament. Right. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. The, the laws in the Old Testament. That's where the law is. It doesn't go to the New Testament. The Ten Commandments are in the New Testament. So, but I got you. Do you? Hold on. You gotta plug it right the there. Unplug it. Or yeah, give, give, give me that right there. Okay. But so now, did you see that? Now, do you can? Do you understand that there's more than ten? Do you understand now that there's more than ten commandments? Do you understand now that there's more than ten commandments? I want to take you to what you just said. It is said of old when Moses said, "Thou shalt not," of the ten commandments, and how it's changed in the new. Wait a minute. I, your point is the point is you went. I showed you in the ten commandments that that law in Leviticus twenty and thirteen was not in the ten. So can you at least concede to the fact that there's more than ten laws? Because what you're reading in Corinthians is not the law. It is a letter. It is an epistle written to a group of Israelites. No no the no scholar would dis would agree with what you just said, beloved. There's more than ten law and also the law to not eat pork in Deuteronomy. That's not in the ten. Thou shalt not rape, or that's not in the ten. Take you to where the change come in at, my brother. So wait a minute. There's a change in the law. So God changes now. Okay. Are you saying God changes? I didn't say as far as God changed. But you're, but you're about to tell me his laws changed. That means he changed. Where the change came in at. So, you let me, I'm about to show you where the change mm -hmm. came in at. Because here it is. The God that was. Then had no mercy to the God that has mercy because of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Don't you know that, that the Lord is the Savior? 
What is it? What, what is your point? What's the point of you going there? What is your point? My point is to telling you that the way you feel and how you're saying it, it's not the way that Jesus wants us to be. Where does it say that at? I'm just going to get it to you. Okay, well, let's go to Paul. Since you like going to Paul, let's go to Paul. Let's go to Romans 9. Let's hear what Paul has to say about all this. Roman, ro go to Romans 9. I'm going to start at the top. Let me know when you're there. Before before I ask you, is the, is the, the new covenant, is that for everyone? You said it's for everyone? It's Romans 13. No, no, no. I'm going to Romans 9. 13? No, Romans 9. I'm asking you, is the new covenant and the adoption and all that, is that for everyone or just the Israelites? It's for everyone. Okay, perfect. Go, let's see what Paul has to say. Let's see if I'm a believe. Let's see what Paul has to say about it. Go to Romans 9. I'm going to start at the top of verse 1. I, say until the oh, I, I got it. It says, I say in the truth, in Christ, I lie not. Meaning Paul's not lying. My conscience also bearing witness in the Holy Ghost. So what Paul's about to say right now is the truth, all right? That I have great heaviness and continued sorrow in my heart. For I wish I myself that I could be a curse from Christ for my brethren. Who are Paul's brethren? Who are Paul's brethren? She's reading it. <laughs> who's, who's Paul's brethren? His brethren. Or the Israelites, right? Because he's a Benjamite. Tells you that in Romans 11. Yeah. He comes from the tribe of Benjamin. His brethren, right? Kinsmen according to the flesh, right? Not everyone. Kinsmen, his his kinfolk. Who, verse 4, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the gut and the giving of the law? And the services of God and the promises. So Paul is saying that the promises, the covenants, all that is given to the Israelites. Do you disagree with Paul? The covenant and everything. No, go on. No, wait, well, uh, wait a minute. Well, Paul just Paul just said you was a liar. You said it was for everyone. Paul said it's only for the Israelites. Look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> Just going on to try to figure out. You're saying Paul saying for the Israelites, the Israelites. We're talking about the Israelites here. Right, but I ask you, is the promises, the covenants, the glimmer of the glory of God? I asked you earlier, is the promises, the covenants, are they for everyone? And you said yes. Paul is saying that it's only for to the Israelites. But, but wait, no. It, Paul is saying it's all. It doesn't matter who he's talking to. Paul, why is not Paul saying what you're saying? It's gonna get deeper too. Trust me. Don't read it. Don't ruin it for me. It's gonna get deeper. She's reading it all. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. So why is Paul saying the opposite of what you said? Mm -hmm. Should I believe you or Paul? But I'm reading. I'm believing what I'm reading. So wait. Okay. No, I'm asking you. Should I believe what you said? I want you to believe what you read. Uh, so Paul said it's only for the Israelites. What you read is what you read. What I read is what I read. So wait. Oh, so wait a minute. So you're reading. Is your book not saying what my book is saying? My book is saying the same. But we got King James, right? Right. So this my book is saying the protect the God the uh the giving of the glory, the covenants, the adoption. The giving of the law, the services of God, and the promises are only given to Israel, not everyone. That's a dagger. <laughs> now I keep reading though. Who because it gets worse. Verse five, it says, Whose are the fathers and to whom as concerning the flesh Christ came? Who is all who's over all? God bless uh God bless forever. Amen. It even gets deeper. It says, not as uh, though the word of God has not taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which is of Israel. Neither because, now here's the point, because this is where it gets deep. It says, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they called the children, but in Isaac shall that seed be called. So if you're not a child, if you don't come through the bloodline of Isaac, you're not called. You're not a child, you're not a child of God. You're not an Israelite. 
That's what Paul is saying right here. And it gets even deeper. It says, uh, that that is they which are the children of the flesh, which would be everyone else that's not an Israelite. These are not the children of God. Mm. So everyone is not a child of God, according to Paul. Mm. How do you deal with that? Yeah, that's a lot to take in right there. I know your pastor never showed you that. No, I never went. I'm not on that. You're saying, how do you think of that, right? So, okay. Well, how do you feel about Paul now, saying that the, this book and this Bible is only given to the Israelites and that God's promises are only for the Native Americans, Hispanics, and black people? Do you disagree with the text? Yeah, it's not that. Because I go back to Matthew. Matthew 3. But, but we being baptized. But we read in Matthew 6, but Jesus Christ in his own mouth said he's only sent for the Israelites. So are you going, in so Matthew now you're going 3, against Christ. You're bucking against Christ and the Bible now. No, no. In Matthew 3, we talk about the saving. We talk no. about the baptizing. We talk about the turning over and stepping into the body of Christ because Jesus is the way. Do we not agree? For who? For all that comes to him. But it, but Jesus Christ, out of his own mouth, just said he's only sent for the Israelites. You disagree with Jesus. Jesus, let's go here and say where Jesus comes from. And what wait, wait a minute. So, so, listen, though, but you, you're you literally, hey, your problem is with, the, is with Jesus now. No, Jesus said he's only sent no. for the Israelites. Paul even no. said it's only for the Israelites. You're saying it's not. This is what I'm saying. Let's go to... Where Jesus come in and Jesus come into the world. He came into the world. Okay, well, let's go to Matthew. Go to, go to Matthew 1. Go to Matthew 1. We at there. Go to Matthew 1. And then I want you to read verse 21. I want you to read it. This is the beginning. This is when Jesus Christ came in, came in fruition. This is what you wanted. This is Matthew 1 and 21. And it shall and she said, go ahead, read it. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people. Oh, from who? His he sin. shall save who? His people. I thought he was saving everyone. Now let's go to. If you're oh, good, now nah, ain't no go that. Look, I thought Jesus Christ was coming for everyone. Why does it say this his people? Angel, this is what the, this is what the angel said to Mary. That's nuts. Oh my goodness. Good Lord in Christ. Okay. Oh, what she say? So when, when so this is a lie right here. We just oh, so in the beginning of Matthew, we're reading that he's coming to save his people. We read in fifteen verses later that uh, fifteen chapters later that he's only sent for the Israelites. Yet you're sitting here saying all that's a lie and it's not true, even though we're reading it verbatim out of the Bible. You don't believe in the Bible, beloved. I don't believe in the Bible. Well, we're reading it, and you're saying it's lying. You're, we're reading it, and you're saying it's lying. Well, here it is. I'm telling you, I believe. I didn't say nothing about Jesus being a liar. So uh, I rebuke that. I didn't say. So when Jesus said he was going to say for the Israelites, do you believe him? My Savior is never a liar. And let me just explain this, my, my brother. His word is never debatable, okay? I'm not going to debate with you about what you say and what that person with this. What I'm saying to you is that just being a, a, a bona fide Christian and a saved person through the experience of my life, I know that what he says in his words here and how I should be and behave towards my neighbor, towards my enemy, does not classify a color. Who's your neighbor? Anyone that's next. Does the Bible say that? Does the Bible say that, though? Does the Bible say that? The Bible says your neighbor, your, the Bible says your neighbor is a children. The Bible says you're no. And wait a minute. So show me where the Bible says everyone is your neighbor. Show me. Every I didn't say everyone. You I, beloved, everyone. beloved. You did just say that. You hear what I just said? Okay, but it's you got to understand. Do unto thy neighbor, when he says, do unto thy neighbor as thyself, and do unto thy, I mean, do unto thy neighbor as thyself, and do unto thy enemy as thy neighbor. Right, so who is, and I'm asking you, who is your neighbor? Because you just said it was everyone, right? I did not say everyone. So who, so in that verse that you're, 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 uh, you're speaking on, 
Who is the neighbor in that verse? Who is it? No, it says the Israelites. It doesn't say what you said. See, you it did say it was for everybody. You're neighbors? double talking. It says the Israelites and this is my neighbors? The, it, yeah, thou, follow thy neighbor would be your fellow Israelite. Do you want me to show you? Show me where it says that on this. What in what you just quoted a Bible verse? You wasn't reading anything. You were just going off the top of your head. What Bible verse was you talking about? I was in Matthews. I did read something. No, what did you read in Matthews? Because you're just—it's crazy how you're just disregarding all the verses we're reading, but you're going to your point. That's not fair. I'm not disregarding. Your so, but, okay, so when Paul said. So when Paul said the, the the promises and the services of God are only for the Israelites, you're saying no. When Jesus Christ said himself he's only sent for the Israelites, you're saying no. You're literally saying you're literally calling the Bible a liar. You're calling Jesus Christ a liar and you're calling Paul a liar. You may not understand what you're saying, but that's what you're doing. I did not say that, and I'm not going to sit here and go with that. And from that point on, I disagree with what you're saying. And you have a strong way of really trying to bring forth something that I don't know what your purpose in doing so. But I'm going to always love people in the spirit. I don't walk in the flesh. I don't know what the debate about for you to do, but... Um, Please let it not be known to be across my son. That's why I got on the phone no with word. you. I teach my son how to be spiritually loving to everyone. I don't know what Jesus you're serving, but I know my Jesus is a merciful and, and awesome and gracious, graceful God. But you can't show that in the Bible. That's just okay. what you think. I Listen, I go by the New Testament. But we just read in the New Testament that is only... Okay, I got one more question. I got one more question. How many I'm gates not, are there to heaven, according to the Bible? That, and I'm not, like I said, that's why we got hate in this world today. Some way yeah, because you're trying to save everyone instead of building with your own people. That's why we have hate in this world. About the color of a no, no, see, no, okay, okay. I got to ask you one question. How many... But I got, I just got, well, I, hold on, wait a minute. I didn't write this book, though. I didn't write the book, though. I read the book. I never gave my opinion. There's spiritual there's brothers who are in who came for those purpose to write the story. That Bible is people's stories. It's the truth, it's the lies, and it's the way. Okay, so when Jesus Christ said he's only sent for the Israelites, do you agree, yes or no? That the Bible is sent for the Israelites? When Jesus Christ said himself he's only sent for the Israelites, do you agree, yes or no? I'm saying to you, this is what I'm saying, and I'll leave it like that, my brother. Okay, and I pray that you have a better heart and not have hatred towards nobody. Wait a minute, how is this hatred? How is this hate? How is me because reading the Bible you're hatred? Not about not to dislike a color. What? What? I never said that. I said an Israelite. That's not a color. Israelite isn't a color. It's not. You saying you telling him about white people? No, I didn't say anything. You said that. You got on the phone and I said didn't that. Say that. That's what you told my no, son. No, no, Ooh, no, I, no, I did not. That, no, you know, I did not. You did, got on the phone and you said something about Moses getting... Ma'am, you got on the phone and said something about Moses talking to everyone. Yeah, I think she got the phone. Yeah, and she yeah, got the phone. She got cut and confounded, bro. These people were Caucasians. Moses? No. No, his people... The Pharaoh. No, Pharaoh was Egyptian. Pharaoh was a, a Hamite. He was a black person. That's why when you go to Egypt and you look on the pyramids and the hieroglyphics, it's black people. And you see the people in chains, they're black people. History and archaeology aligns with what this Bible presents. It says the Israelites will go into slavery. And we can look in ar any archaeological, you can get on Google and go to any... Ge National Geographic pictures of the pyramids. You're gonna see black people. Those are the, those were Pharaoh's people. But Moses went to the mountains to teach the Caucasians. When, Civilization. He never. When did he do? When did? What do you mean he went to the mountains and to teach the Caucasian? When he never God did that. His, when God gave him his assignment. When, when he came when, down with the Ten Commandments. But wait a minute. Okay, okay. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who did he? Who was the commandments? Who was the law given to? You got your Bible? Go to Deuteronomy four and forty-four. Yes. 
Okay, go to Deuteronomy 4 and 44. Yes, yes, please. Now this is the new law which Moses set before the children of Israel. Before I thought, but I thought you said it was the Caucasian. No, when he went to the mountains. But no, Moses no, this is this is what this is talking about. This is the law. Let's go back. I'm saying, I'm saying, Moses was sent to the mountains, was he not? For who? To teach the Caucasian but, civilization. But, but we just read it's to he went to get the laws for Israel. So, am he I going to believe you or what the Bible the mountains, says? Let's go to where Moses was sent. But, what, but this is, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, calm down. This is, we're reading, let's read it again. Verse 44. And this it's is the law, the laws, the what? The Torah, correct? He gave the Ten Commandments. No, no, the, no, the law is the Torah, correct? Yeah, the Torah. Okay, he says the law which Moses... Who you said set before the children of Israel? It doesn't say everybody. We're not talking about what Moses came down off the mountains with. So well, I want to go back and show you. Can I show you that? Well, well, it well, what you're saying doesn't make sense because you're saying he he went to Mount Sinai to get the laws from God. There was no one up there but him. So that's why I'm confused on why you said that. Because when he went to Mount Sinai, he was by himself. That's why when he came back down, uh, his brother had made the golden calf, correct? And they were all worshipping that. Mm -hmm. So he was up there by himself. He wasn't up there teaching anyone. He was getting the laws because when he started... That's why they only had the Ten Commandments. Because when he came, they were scared. So they sent Moses up to Mount Sinai to get the laws and write them down on his tablet. And then he gave the law to Israel. So what you're saying isn't biblical or found in the Bible. May I ask who I'm talking to? Isaiah's mom. How are you doing? I, 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 it's nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. How can I y'all? I'm getting ready to find where I'm speaking from so you can get where I'm getting. Yes, ma'am. Interpretation. Yes, ma'am. But let me, okay. let me, yes, ma'am, while you're finding that, I'm going to read you something, okay? Go ahead and no, look for it. I want you to find it. I want you to look for it. Yes, yeah, so I'm listening to as you're speaking. Okay. This is Second Peter. Let's see. Or, let me see. Second Peter. Four. Well, I'm, I'm going to give you two. 